Now this is that creature, we picked this up on the, uh, now you can get this on Google Earth. If I was to give you the coordinates, you could find that creature on Google Earth. That there, do you see it? Now, wait, wait, wait a minute, this is what got our interest up when we got this, you see. So, give us another picture, will you? The next ones are the ones that you commissioned privately. Oh yeah, they, I commissioned some, uh, um, I tasked some um, satellites to take private pictures for me. Of that area? Of that particular area. And there's a trail, now I can't see this, my eyes are bad, Excuse but me. people that have looked at this have said they can actually see a boa in one of these channels now. I don't now know that's not a river. You might want to point out that it terminates in the left hand yeah, side. It does, it's not a river. It comes to a dead stop. It's just not a river. It's a channel made by a snake going through the uh, through the mud. But anyway, <coughs> people uh, people have looked at this and studied this. I'll tell you something else about um, satellite photography. You can look at a satellite picture. And you can miss things. You have to study it and study it until you really understand what's on that picture. And they say that this is a boa in there. Now, I, I can't see it, so I don't know. But all I can say um, is that we have got good pictures of, of this giant boa. Now, you want to press on to the next trees, one? We'll leave that one. Those trees, when we went down on the expedition, yeah. before we went, we didn't know whether they were bushes or what. But when we got down there, we realized they were 90 feet feet tall and about 20 to 30 feet wide, these plumes at the top of the trees. Mm -hmm. Right, can we actually <coughs> go on here now? Ah, oh, right, I want to give you a wee picture here. This is what I'm talking about with looking at a picture and learning from a picture. Now, who would like to volunteer and tell me what they see in that picture? You've got a 50-50 chance of being right. What is it? Trees. Trees. What? <laughs> Tree trees. Trees is fine. What else? It looks like a river. Ah, that's what we thought. Mm -hmm. We thought it was a river too. Show the next picture, Greg. And these are real shots from now, the expedition. Yeah, can I explain something From the now? plane that we took. The Amazon, that looked like white water, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Going down through the Amazon doesn't have white water. It has slow meandering rivers and it's all laden with sediment. The, the water is actually brown, it's not white. Mm -hmm. We believe that that white that you saw a minute ago was the shed skin of a snake, a huge snake. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean, if you know that mm -hmm. there's, there's no white water, in fact that picture that you saw was taken on an island surrounded by water, it couldn't have been any white water in there, you know? Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's what I mean about studying a picture. You really have to mm -hmm. study it to understand uh, just what's going on, you know? Now, something else too is... Uh, Do you want... Uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. This person here is called Percy Fawcett. Now, he was... Who was he, Greg? In 1908, he was commissioned by the Royal Geographic Society of London to map the borders of Peru in a dispute. And right. he came across an incident which you're going to talk about. Right, yeah. He actually went down, he was last seen in a place called the Mato Grosso in Brazil. And what apparently happened, to cut a long story short, he seems like a very arrogant man and he slapped a child one of the native ch children for doing something, maybe looking in his bag or something, I don't know what he was doing, but the, native, the Indians turned on him and his crew and killed the whole lot and buried him. So that was the last you ever heard of uh, this guy, Percy Fawcett. But interestingly enough, have you got that writing up about him? Or not? Uh, yes, it's over here. Uh, he actually found the same channels as we, as we found. Oh my goodness. Uh, in when he was looking, and he was actually at, around a confluence where we, not the same one, but another one, you know. And uh, so, would you read that there? What is, just don't read the whole thing, just pick out a few points. We were drifting easily along the sluggish current, not far below the confluence of the Rio Negro, when almost under the bow there appeared a triangular head, 
and several feet of undulating body. It was a giant anaconda. I sprang for my rifle as the creature began to make its way up the bank, and hardly waiting to aim, I smashed a .44 soft-nosed bullet into its spine, oh, okay. ten feet below its wicked head. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. <laughs> its body was not thick for such a colossal length. Such large speci specimens as this may not be common, but the trails in the swamps reach a width of six feet and support the statements of Indians and rubber pickers that the anaconda sometimes reaches an incredible size, altogether dwarfing that shot by me of 67 feet. Is that it? Yeah, that'll do. Anyway, this here is a picture, a shot of a, a giant snake that, that Greg got a hold of. But it's of, not you know? green. It's not green, no. It's not green, but it's black or dark brown. But anyway. Mm. The interesting thing about this uh, black boa, as they call it, first of all, did I tell you it's not black? No, you said it's green. It, it's not black. It's actually dark brown. It's called mouse colored. Mm -hmm. It's mouse colored. Mm -hmm. and, and if you if you want to, when you get home, you look in the dictionary under anaconda, you will find the names uh, Murina sunectes. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, Murina. Pardon? It's Latin, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Murinus unectes, and Murinus means mouse colored, which is dark brown, almost black. And unectes means good swimmer. And that's why, uh, yeah, in fact, some people say when they were writing about anacondas, and the science thinks that the green anaconda is the biggest, they say, the name doesn't seem to fit. Green anaconda, and it says here mouse colored in Latin, you know? But it's this one that we found. Is actually mouse colored. It's brown. It's like this one here. Now this one here was a picture taken from that newspaper over in the corner <coughs> from Pernambuco. And that creature uh, had, now that's going back a few years, so that was going back to 1948. That one actually had just swallowed a steer. A cow, can you imagine? And it had, it, it had the horns were out of its mouth. And one of the, the um, Indians we're working with a tug going down the Amazon, then somebody must have thrown a rope over it because when it came up, the rope went around the neck. They tied it to a tug and tied it down, towed it down river to a place called Manaus. You ever heard of Manaus? It's no. called the city in the jungle. It's in Brazil. Yes. And it's where the river Negro and what they used to, in, in Brazil, they call, I think, the Solomias. It's the White River and the Black River come together. They come together in a place called Manaus. And that's where they took it, and that's where that picture was taken, and that's where that thing was killed there in 1940.